Okay, this is my first aquaponics system. Um, it is has I have a, pa a panel, a bank of um, solar heaters to heat the water in the winter, and they're manifolded in. And the it come the the out the input goes through this pump. Uh, it's filled with um, antifreeze, and it goes through this pump up through the panels, and it comes back down over here through. Um, it goes by an expansion tank just in case there's extra pressure. And it goes down, the PEX goes down into a copper coil in the water where the antifreeze goes through this copper coil and the heat disperses um, into the water and hopefully uses, uh, heats up the water really good. This is the tank in its in the system in its entirety. Over here we have a grow bed and this is the fish tank um, and the biofilter. We'll start with the fish tank. This fish tank was built out of a, a billboard tarp and um, a bunch of just scrap lumber that I found laying around. There's 880 fish in there. Mozambique tilapia fingerlings. Um, there's a, you can see some of them in there. They're actually bigger than fingerlings now. Um, this laying on top here is a, a, a seeding area. It's the winter, so we're seeding for our fall garden. It uh, doesn't have anything to do with uh, aquaponics, um, but basically aquaponics starts um, in the water. Um, ammonia is the building blocks for aquaponics, and so the ammonia um, needs to be broken down by bacteria to create nitrites and nitrates, and that happens, uh, and so we have to create room for bacteria. So here we have a, a small pump. It's the only really pump that we have in the whole system besides the solar panels. It goes up to this filter right here. The first filter is a vortex filter. Basically the water goes in on an angle and spins around. And as it spins, the chunks slowly go to the bottom, which we use as uh, fish firm, uh, which garden fertilizer. Then the drain is actually at the top where there's uh, a least amount of particles floating in the water, hopefully. And it goes down to this second filter, which is full of lava rocks. And lava filters uh, mechanically by getting the chunks out as well as uh, creating lots of room for bacteria to grow. Lots of surface area. So then uh, this main uh, tube goes down here to my third biofilter. Um, these other pipes are all redundancies just in case the, um, the main clogs, the main pipes clog. I would definitely recommend doing two inch or bigger if you ever build a system. Uh, you, li you live, you learn. This third system is basically full of all kinds of goodies that create surface area um, uh, so bacteria can build up. If you have enough grow bed room, you don't need to do uh, biofilters, but I, I could only do uh, this small grow bed here. This grow bed is full of rocks, and this is the water that's coming out of my biofilter, slowly filling up. All of these plants, uh, their roots are growing into the uh, into the water and going out throughout the water. I've got some duckweed growing here, which the fish love. Um, some aeration. And uh, all these plants have lots of roots growing into the water. You can see here real good um, the roots growing in the water. Taking out all the nitrites and nitrates, cleaning the water for the fish. Um, and all this rock is cre also creating surface area for the, uh, uh, for the bacteria to grow. And see, we're seeding some stuff here directly into the water. There's some, some Swiss chard growing real nice right now. Then I have this simple small drain here at the end of, of the entire system. So at the end of the, the, the bed, the, the grow bed, it goes down into this little drain. It drains down below into this last biofilter, which um, is also a breeding ground for bacteria, which is good. And then it goes back into my system and cre create, uh, completes the circle. And, it, and after that one pump over there, uh, the rest is gravity fed.